Thank you for your interest in insulated roofing contractors. In this video, we will show you the process of re-roofing a ballasted EPDM roof. The first step is to remove the ballast, or the rocks, on the roof. This can be done with a dry vac, similar to the wet vac seen here, or manually with shovels and wheelbarrows. For the project in this video, the rock is removed by hand. Once the rock is removed, the next step depends on the condition of the materials beneath the EPDM membrane. If the roof is deteriorated or has been leaking, the materials below the membrane are likely wet and will need to be removed and replaced. If the material is dry, it can remain in place. On this project, the EPDM membrane and substrates beneath are removed all the way to the roof deck. Here, we see a metal roof deck. Once the deck is exposed, boards are mechanically attached to provide insulation and a smooth spraying surface. On some projects, the roof can be attached directly over the top of the existing EPDM roof. Here is some footage from another project in which the EPDM roof did not require tear out. In order to release tension in the membrane, the EPDM is cut into sections. In either case, once the board is fastened down and cleaned, the spray foam application process begins. The spray foam is applied starting around penetrations and edges, then to the field of the roof. Next, silicone coating is installed in two passes. Here we see the first coat, a darker base coat, being installed. And here we see the second coat, a lighter top coat, being installed. While the top coat is still wet, granules are embedded for added traction and durability. And here is the final product, a 26,000 square foot roof with a 20 year warranty. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please call us today.